Uh, my name is Courtney Garland. I am a patrol officer with Spruce Pine Police Department and I have been working for them since February of this year. I've done law enforcement with Mitchell County Sheriff's Office. I've done investigations with them as well. So I have been full-time since 2010. The thing that I enjoy most about my job is meeting people. Um, I have grown to know a lot of people over the years and I have actually made friendships out of the years from knowing people. You think that law enforcement is just book work and arresting people, um, charging people with different things, and that every day is a negative interaction, but it's not. Um, you get to know people <clears throat> through investigations, through helping people uh, when they don't know who else to call. I've done everything from get a snake out of a house <laughs> to um, getting a horse out of the road to actually working um, high felony crimes. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's truly why I do what I do because I've had people tell me before, you know, I've had negative interactions with law enforcement, but with you, I haven't had that. In my career path, I started in psychology and that was at Mayland. And I remember I had to register for more classes. So my advisor was out on maternity leave at that time. So I had to go talk to Ron Davis and he was over the criminal justice portion. And he told me, he said, you should really consider becoming a cop. And at that time, you know, I thought, no, I don't want to go around and arrest people. I don't want to, you know, work these weird hours. And, you know, why would I want to do that? And then later, um, I realized that psychology really had a place in law enforcement too. And um, interacting with people, how you interact with people, um, really trying to apply your life circumstances and things that you've learned in your childhood and throughout your life that you can help other people through. We probably interact with more people that need that kind of help than people who will actually go seek that help from a professional um, counselor or something. I did start my criminal justice courses through Mayland. Um, I absolutely loved it. My favorite course was forensics. That was just, I would actually read ahead on that and get ahead of my class um, just trying to figure out different, different stuff. I was approached by um, one of the captains at the Mitchell County Sheriff's Office about working undercover narcotics and I thought, that's just the craziest thing I've ever heard, let's do it. <laughs> so um, I did start doing that and I did enjoy doing that, but the way that I viewed that was, you know, in the long run you're helping someone. Um, you see these people, they're real people. They, it's not just they wake up in the morning and they're like, hey, I'm just going to go do all these things today. You know, you really get to know these people. And, um, you know, I have seen people that, that said, you'll never see me again because I'm going to do better. And they have done it. I've seen it. And that right there is the absolute payoff for this job. A lot of people aren't aware of resources that we do have. And so, you know, it just takes two seconds to tell them, hey, listen, here's a phone number. If, if I can't help you with that, I can get in touch with someone who probably can. I went through um, basic law enforcement training, BLET, in 2010, and I took that through Western Piedmont Community College. It was only a condensed version of the same thing that Mayland has. Uh, Mayland does a nine-month course, which is usually more convenient for people, especially when they're working full-time jobs. You know, of course, the first day I walked in and I knew that I probably wouldn't see a lot of females, but there was a handful of us. And, um, you know, that first day was very intense. They do the physical assessments, things like that. And what that, what that does is they will do them every so often just to show you how far that you have come. And there's really a teamwork environment there. You help each other get through. What it really shows you in the end, what I didn't realize until it was over, was the drive that you have um, to do the job, the, the will to withstand this job, if you will. You had to be able to run a mile and a half um, under a certain amount of time. That was time there at Western Piedmont. You did have to pass a firearms course. You had to pass a state exam at the end of the four months. You also did scenario training, which was really fun. Um, they would set you up on vehicle stops, DUI stops. They would set you up on clearing buildings. We had active shooter training. It was just probably the coolest experience I've ever had. I wouldn't take anything for it. That was probably the hardest, but the best four months that I've ever been through. You know, for our area, we do have a very small area, but it is so beneficial to have a female 
um, because there are people that I can speak with or relate to in certain situations that maybe a male officer would not be able to and it's not because that male officer is lacking in that ability but it's because maybe a female if she's been assaulted she wants to be approached by a female. Um, maybe kids, if kids are already afraid of law enforcement which is actually very common, um, they may feel more comfortable with a female officer. As far as being any type of confrontational person, anything like that, I was just not natured that way. Um, my more overwhelming nature is to make sure someone's safe. So I think that that probably trumps everything at that, at that moment. With training and experience, I do know how to handle most situations. Um, and that's where your teamwork comes in. If there's a situation that, you know, I'm like, I've never dealt with this or I'm not sure how to handle this, you know, one of, one of my coworkers may say, I've dealt with a similar situation or either I know this person, I can talk to this person. You know, that has came into play so many times and that's where your teamwork comes in too. You know, there's a lot of good teamwork and that really does make a department, um, you know, when you're talking about safety and when you're talking about making an impact on the community, they see, you know, how you work together. Um, they see how you respond to each other. So I think that's very important that you have that. You know, I do work with great officers and, and smart officers and very proactive officers. So, you know, that goes a long way. You have to be able to have an open mind of saying, you know, there is probably more than one solution here. You have to have the ability to actually listen to people, not just hear them, listen to them. Just because a call comes out as a certain thing, you may get there and it's something completely different. This person just had a bad day and they're screaming at everybody around them, causing a the disturbance, when really all they want to do is just tell somebody they had a bad day. And being willing to make mature decisions in your own life as well. Uh, that's very important because, you know, you have people that are, you know, maybe twice your age that are calling you for advice and they see someone come up that is 20 years younger than them and they're like, you know, I, I can't relate to you. Being able to relate to somebody and being able to show somebody that you're willing to listen to what they have to say, that you're willing to understand the situation, that goes a long way. But you do also have to be able to be um, stern about a situation. If you're making an arrest, it's got to happen. You have to be able to enforce that. You have to be okay with enforcing the laws that we do have. You represent your department, even on your days off. There are so many decisions that you have to make before you can truly effectively do this job and be willing to do. It is a sacrifice. It does include your family. I stay in Mitchell County because with it being a smaller jurisdiction, you truly do learn the people that you interact with. There is a bond there um, that you build with people. I may see the same person interact with the same person once a week to once a shift. <laughs> you know, it just depends, and it's not always a bad interaction. Um, knowing that you have a bond with people helps you in the long run. You know, people help us out with solving cases too. It isn't just about, you know, we did all this work, we did all this. It truly is a community thing. So I do enjoy working that smaller jurisdiction. It has made me a more independent person in so many ways. It's made me more confident in decision making and learning things about even my own life, about being more direct with things. Um, I did buy my first home working through law enforcement, so that was pretty cool for me. Um, that was a big accomplishment for myself. But also being able to be independent and do things and learn and kind of live life. Traveling to different places, that's probably something I never would have done if I hadn't got into law enforcement that I would just jump in my car and could drive from here to wherever and wouldn't have a second thought about it. I would tell them to look at the different angles of law enforcement. For me, when I hesitated, it was because I really thought it was just about arresting somebody or writing a ticket, and I had no interest in just doing that. But once I actually stopped and was like, oh, law enforcement, <laughs> You know, this is what all you do. These are the trainings that you take. This is the, the levels that you can reach in law enforcement, even here in these jurisdictions, if you want to do investigations, if you want to do a certain type of investigations, you know, narcotics or general, you know, general investigations, patrol, anything like that. Um, there are options out there. And that's what I would tell anyone is to really look into it, really look and see what the options are and what the job calls for talk to local jurisdictions about doing ride-alongs if they offer those. 
things like that. I love the job. I love helping people and truly, you know, someone when they genuinely say thank you because I didn't have that help or nobody's ever really taken the time to just talk to me. It's definitely a calling. This is not a nine to five. I'm going to go sit at my desk and I'm going to do this paperwork or work on this computer or make this phone call. It is, I've got 12 hours to fill. Let's see what's waiting. <laughs>